What's up y'all? The other day me, Graham, Tom, and Brady went out and the whole purpose of the video was for all of us to land or learn a new trick and the only one of us that learned anything was Brady. So uh, today is basically redemption for me. I don't know if Graham's gonna try and go for redemption or if he's just gonna ride or not. But uh, I wrote like five tricks right here. Got a switch toe side backside 180, switch heel side backside 360, switch tension to blind, a proper half cab roll. I have done a half cab roll before, but I actually tore my ACL on that trick in like 2008 or seven or something like that. So uh, I haven't really done it since. So I'm gonna try and do that today. And a skeezer. Um, some of these tricks aren't that hard, but they're very awkward, like a switch toe side backside 180 or switch heel side backside 360. So hopefully I can get those done and we'll have Graham make a list or something or he can just ride switch or whatever. The blind, dude. Oh. Cruising through Steiner Ranch now, almost to the boat ramp. We got Air Bud back there, he's taking a nap. Graham's riding out some tricks and uh, our friend Nico is gonna come on the boat. He's gonna ride and drive a little bit and we'll be on the water soon. Just rolling up now. Looks like it's gonna be a butter fest out there. So, uh, should be pretty sick. Gosh darn dang, it looks good out there. Nice boat, nice pup. It's about 70 degrees outside, November 2nd, I think, so we got some pretty good weather. Should be a good day. Everybody, are you boat adventure dog? Yeah. Ooh, and Nico's here. What's up, bud? Not much. So with my trick selection, I'm gonna assume that I'm probably gonna be swimming a lot or rolling the windows down a lot because this is a pretty like awkward trick selection for me. I'm not really comfortable with these tricks. I think that I might land a couple of them. I don't really even know about doing a switch tantrum and uh, I have hopes for a switch tantrum to blind, but we'll see. Hopefully we can land one or two and uh, should be good. So what do you think? First trick, switch toe back one? Yeah. Yeah? I would get one of the hard ones out of the way first, for sure. <laughs> I think switch toe back one. I think I'm gonna have a hard time even jumping switch toe side wake to wake, but I think if I can do it, I'll be able to whip it around. And then maybe if I can land at least one trick, I'll have confidence to land more. I don't know. Good luck. <laughs> Nico, do you feel prepared to pilot this vessel? I'm yes, actually sir. really scared of a half cap roll. Let's get it. Do you know how to uh, accelerate? Actually, this is my first time driving a boat. It's that little... Uh, You'd probably do a good one. Yeah, yeah you pull that backwards. That backwards. makes it go forwards and then right. forwards is backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo. oh, it feels pretty good. Where's the air, bud? Bud, are you doing okay? Are you not going to watch dad learn some new tricks? Right. Okay. tried the switch toe side wake to wake challenge I recommend you do so because it's, it's really hard and I haven't successfully done it yet but I think if I can get one I can for sure do a toe back one but right now I feel the most awkward I've ever felt but uh yeah let's let's land one I think you are better off doing switch toe back 180 than you are just a normal wake jump switch yeah, I agree I think so like I think you should just go for it not yeah. waste your time if I if I get the pop I'll go for it. Just pretend it's the cable. You can do it every try on the cable. Yeah, I'm gonna pre-spin up the wake and back edge before I get into the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. I guess you can't but, do that. I'll but. try. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thanks.
that toe back on 80 was so perfect. <laughs> it's funny because I couldn't even do the normal toe side wake to wake. But I think the switch back side three, I'm either going to get it right here or I'm going to hang a nose edge. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had days, deja vu of this video before, so I have a feeling next attempt for sure I'm going to get a knockout. No, all you have to do is like not get pulled out the front door on takeoff because that's what happened there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to spin off a kicker, but it's not a kicker, so I'll just, just figure it out. Yeah, you got her. Just be nice and gentle and you'll land it. back three but the switch chrome over skeezer i feel like i did like a 180 detentional blind instead of an actual scarecrow but i can't really see what i look like no it looked like pretty scarecrow to blind yeah i feel like i have one of those like laid out kooky kid chromos but it is the first one so whatever so, no yeah, skeezer i'll land it on the next try i think and then we'll try switch tantrum blind i have done a switch tantrum like 10 years ago but i'll relearn the switch tantrum and then i'll Try switch chance of line. TDB is last one left. No, I think there might be. I need to find the list. All right, so switch toe side, back side 180, check. Switch back three, check. Switch T to B, he needs to do that now. And then uh, proper half cap rule. Skis are check. So he's got to take this tantrum to blind, switch, and the uh, proper half cap rule. All right, so we got the skis are. I kind of like barely landed in the flats a tiny bit, but not too bad. And the tantrum, the blind, I don't know, man. Like, on just the tantrum, I don't even know where I am. I just see like a giant blur, but I can feel like the tension on the rope. So maybe even if it's a giant blur, I'll just rip the blind anyway. And if I happen to catch a back edge, then whatever. I mean, I don't know. I'm like really going out the back onto my back foot just because I'm so uncoordinated switch. But, uh, yeah, but you're landing like right in the sweet spot of the wash wake, so yeah, like... Yeah, so I think it wouldn't be too bad of a crash if I actually tried. I mean, if you want to prepare yourself, do heel switch back with 80. I, I think... Uh, yeah. I think like that's the same thing as me doing a switch toe side wake away. But, Fair enough. Yeah, let's try it. Alright, sick. Nothing, like he just fell over. Alright. I think we got that. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know where I was at all, but like I would have like tried to ride it out if I knew that I was actually gonna like land on my board. So now that I have a little bit of confidence, I think I'll get it right here. For sure. Alright, we'll 
let you back in the boat. All right, thank God. <laughs> I'm stoked. That was insane, dude. Pretty stoked on that. I uh, skipped the half cat roll, but I think I think on the half cat roll, I'm gonna come out another day and learn how to like relearn how to do it and do it like super proper. Cause back in the day, it was all like laid out and stuff. And then I'll kind of work on that for a bit and turn that into like a learning a double cat roll video. So I'm gonna call Ooh. that out now. In the future, I'm gonna do a double cat roll on the boat. So what are you doing? Are you trying new stuff or are you just gonna go for a banger set? Um, I'm gonna try new stuff. I got really close on like heel back five on that day into the flats. So I'm gonna just go out of the gate, try uh, get a good indie grab back three into the flats, which I've never done. I just did like a slap grab. So good indie grab back three into the flats. That'll be never like that'll be number one. Number two I'll go for is the back five. I'm only gonna try that like twice. And then I want stale front three. Oh, that'd be cool. And if I, I want or stale or indie, but I always grab indie, so I think. But Trevor Maurer and Josh Twelker's like toe side indie front threes look really cool. But maybe I'll try to do stale where I don't really shift you to grab it. I don't know. But those three would be sick. I'd be very happy. All right. Cool. And we still have butter conditions. So should be fun. I'd go get him. I have never seen you do an indie glide before. Was that uh, your first ever indie glide? I guess I watched Harley's Instagram clip and I thought I could do it. <laughs> um, do I need my rope to be longer to be like normal for me? Oh yeah, probably. Let me do that. The back threes were big, you just gotta slap that indie on there. Yeah, it's like, I feel like my tail of my board keeps running into the room. Oh yeah. I just wanna size down my board eventually, but if I just keep my spin on axis, then the uh, tail will hit the rope. All right, perfect, let's get it. So the dad cam was running out of memory and Airbud ended up like almost pooping inside the boat. So I had to take him on shore and let him get his business taken care of. And at that point, Graham was just too freezing to keep going. But luckily he did learn a new trick. It was an indie glide. I don't think he even intended to learn that today, but he did. So that's pretty cool. And I got four out of the five tricks I wanted to learn and we're gonna save the half cab roll later. So we're gonna learn a double half cab roll one day and we'll just sort of film that as part of the process. But all in all, I say it's a good day. Um, full butterfest all day so pretty stoked on it oh yeah if y'all haven't checked out graham's youtube channel yet make sure you go check that out also follow him on instagram as well nico came out today and he uh, helped us out with boat driving so i'll link his instagram in the description below as well if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up comment below what kind of wakeboarding videos you guys want to see in the future i know some of you guys think that i'm not making cable videos anymore but i definitely am most of the cables are closed in texas right now and i think me and graham are going to go to florida soon and we'll be filming in a bunch of cables over there but yeah just comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see remember i'll be making a wakeboarding video every second day forever so make sure you guys subscribe i'll see y'all next time peace